That's your mistake, not ours. <laughs> That's it. You'll oh. do. You'll do. Wow. Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard. We're, you're in for calamity. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you're in for a treat tonight because we're all wound up, uh, <laughs> except for Rob, who's dying of COVID. Thanks, Rob, for sticking around. Uh, yeah, 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 thank you, Rob. Guys, <laughs> follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. You want to shoot the shit with us about D&D, join our Discord. You want to buy cool crap like... Jesse's shirt or this phone case or, or this uh, shirt. toilet paper or that shirt, you know, or oh, whatever. Uh, the link is down there. You can buy our crap down there. Uh, we do. If you want to be on a talk show on Tuesdays, not this Tuesday, or if you want to be on a one shot next Saturday, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. We'll get you on there. You can have a little bit of two hours worth of fun and stupidity. Uh, if you need dice and who doesn't need dice, custom dice go on over to twitter see at pirate dog dice see if they've got the time to go ahead and make you something see if they got the time to uh, like you or maybe they just hang up on you like they do david all the time yeah but, hey i'm still waiting for that d20 man yeah, you keep waiting. <laughs> tell me how that works out yeah if your game stinks unlike ours because ours smells like success go on over to oddfishgames.com uh, check out their adventure sense they have over 60 cents to delight or penalize your nasal cavity uh, they also do something called the shine system so if you want to buy uh, become a uh, prolific writer like myself only gooder uh, check out their shine system uh, that being said this is the calamity campaign folks uh, thanks for joining us we will go ahead and get to a brief recap here in a minute let's introduce you to the people who are going to make oh, you laugh and shake your head first off he who has one foot in the grave dave <laughs> Rob. david or dave Rob. dave, dave. Uh, we'll get to your appearance in a minute. Hey there, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm Rob. You can find me at Cthulhu Rob on the socials, and uh, you can find me here playing Dave, showing up on a one shot every once in a while, and maybe even in between the roles, once in a bluish moon. Um, more things coming, but ready to go. Oh, I'm using if, 5G, so be careful. If you live. <laughs> Wait till uh, I flip on that. That switch, baby. What doesn't kill you makes you stranger. We are living proof, aren't we? <laughs> That's true. Uh, next up, the only guy that didn't get the memo about facial hair, David. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Just took it off today, actually. <laughs> so you're under I, contract. Um, you can't shave. You can't get pregnant. Tired yeah. of the small comb. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, I tried the poo, but all this was white. So it's like, no, nah, not a good look. So uh anyway. Hi, my name's David. So, and I'm on this show, Murder Hobo. Uh, <laughs> I I play Ingve in the Calamity campaign here. Uh, Crow in the B B side, which uh, Lord knows when we'll get to that again. I <laughs> uh, also play on Cacophony. I play Sadar, the Changeling, and um, a lot of times you can find me on DTR. I usually have something to say on that so <laughs> otherwise you can follow me on twitter um at d and devious on twitter and uh yeah i've got some other projects coming up and i'll be mentioning them eventually so you know if you would have only gone with this we would have just kept asking you for chicken yeah exactly <laughs> i say seven deadly herbs and spices <laughs> Ooh, I'm just here for the biscuits. Next up is Jesse, since he just took a drink. <laughs> uh, perfect. Greetings. That is all. Uh, they call me Jesse. I play Azari, Leon and Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I play Azari, the Leon and Ranger. Wow. Uh, and you can find me on all the socials at JR Wooly. Uh, I play tonight, and I play on uh, occasional one shots. And that's about all you'll find me on. Good night, yeah, everybody. For now. Good night. See ya. I'm, I'm done logging off now. That's it. Just, just like the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> that's almost two. <laughs> <laughs> it's got freedom to play today. Mm. 
<laughs> cool. Eyes play good. <laughs> oh my Last but god! But certainly not least, is Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, uh, uh, I'm Kevin, and I play Tall, the mysterious paladin who's recently joined these guys. And I am also oh, found cool, on the social medias at Kev Rand Games. I also run a, my own podcast, uh, Game Night Heroes, which you can find online too. And uh, it's a good fun time. But not as fun as here, so I will give you a preface about that. So whatever. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> pitch, pitch, date and time and location. Uh, it comes on a Tuesdays. Right now we're in hiatus. Season two comes out on the twenty second. Season two on the two 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 two. Think about it. <laughs> nice, <laughs> folks. One other thing: uh, if you haven't signed up yet for Murder Hobo Con, uh, that is next saturday and sunday so you still got a little bit of time we still got a couple games uh that need seats butts and seats so take a look at it you buy one badge you get in all the games for free we got door prizes that are pretty cool including uh not that david gives a shit anymore but badass beard care so (laughs) (laughs) thanks david way to support the team folks guys uh pretty much uh, initially they thought it was prehistoric, but now they figured out that it's post-apocalyptic. They're currently in the city trying to find Azari's sister's cure. Uh, they have been to their local CVS, a hotel, and they are currently in a, probably a lawyer's office building. Uh, they have uh, found such magical relics, uh, such as Dave's uh, bunny slippers, uh, his airplane cushion which is a commodore hat uh these guys have found blue yellow and tan pills uh tall uh has found a shotgun and knows how to use it dave has found a shotgun no clue how to use it uh which should be good i can hardly wait till they find grenades um (laughs) so uh with that in mind uh, when we last left them they were at the top of a office building uh hunkering down in between metal rectangles or metal squares aka air conditioners and a blue mist has suddenly risen from the ceiling gents uh y'all see this blue mist what do you want to do i draw my flail and don my shield get the hell away from it sounds like initiative oh that's what it sounds like here we go. That's a bad roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, 19. I thought I was supposed to. Same. 19. Five. <laughs> Ten. Uh, well, I don't have the worst roll. Thank you, Tal. Uh, the pair of 19s, Dave and Azari, uh, this blue mist rises. Uh, first off, before you do anything at all, Give me uh, perception checks. And it will be aroma if you get bonuses for that. Didn't know this was scratch and sniff. 16. (laughs) Uh, Simple perception. Oh, nice. Uh, 26. Uh, Both of you smell uh, whatever this uh, mist or smoke is, it smells very sweet. Uh, what do you two want to do? You got the 19s. Ooh. Folks at home, uh, it is right around midnight. Uh, however, the city does have power courtesy of their exploits from earlier. So there are some uh, lights illuminating the landscape. Yeah, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> I will... Uh, take a step back and stand ready to attack if anything comes from the mist. Okay. So basically... Uh, <clears throat> I will uh, stand forward and try and speak with it. Okay. What do you want to say? Um, uh, are you here to cause harm? Fair. Uh, the 10 is up next. Um, does Ingve like recognize the sweet smell? Does that sound for a second check first? Okay, uh, let's see, perception that's uh 17 actually. Uh, no, you do not recognize it, it just smells sweet, it's very aromatic. Um, 
can't describe it any better than that because you wouldn't have any frame of reference. Right. Uh, meanwhile, your associate's talking to the Holy Smoke. Right, right. I'm kind of backing Lazari's play. So um, You're going to talk to it too? You guys are having a conversation? <laughs> from whence? Where? <laughs> Where have you arisen from? <laughs> it's uh, the smoke kind of billows and forms into a, a circular formation. As the breeze starts to waft up, it will head towards Dave. Uh, Tall, uh, your three new associates, two of which are talking to smoke. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> have already done stuff. Dave looks like he's ready for action. What do you want to do? Or first off, perception check. Yep, I can do that. Drop it off the table. That's uh sixteen. It, it smells sweet to you as well. Hmm, okay. I'm going to just wait for a moment. I'm going to actually. I will move though. I'll move. So I'm going to be in a position where if this smoke that I see kind of drifting towards my companions, I can move in to maybe flank it. If it's going to coalesce into something. Sure. Everybody roll me another perception check. This one will be visual. Uh, That one will be a 24. Rolling hot tonight. That'll be 10. (laughs) I got a seven. So don't feel too bad. (laughs) 23. Azari and Dave, you notice that this smoke seems to be emanating from some kind of metal cylinder, a.k.a. a pipe, uh, set in the stones. You two notice that the cylinder is somewhat vibrating, but there's no noise uh, until a loud shriek is heard in that darkened courtyard uh, over your shoulders. So you can stay focused on the smoke or see what's going on down there. Uh, Dave and Azari, you have the 19s. So th- so there's a, it's kind of coalescing into some form of a spherical kind of and moving towards me. Uh, yeah, it's kind of elongated sphere now. It's a sperm coming at you. Ooh. <laughs> Dave, Dave's pretty convinced it's got to be some kind it's of It's going to impregnate you. Yeah. <laughs> the bukkake this. Oh, <laughs> oh, right. oh, Yikes. God. Azari jumps Smoke off the building gun. face first. Immature <laughs> <laughs> audience. A- aiming like. for a statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dave aims for the main body of the mist and smashes away. Sure, go ahead. Demon! Uh, 21. Uh, your damage seems to lacerate the smoke and it seems be... to be veering off into two different directions. Oh, There'll shit. be a flash one towards Azari yeah. and one towards uh, uh, damn it, David, who's your character? Ingve. <laughs> Ingve. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to change my name. Damn it. Okay. it towards De- Devious. <laughs> Yeah, it goes towards Devious. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So, Dave, your stroke has tended to waft it in half. Now it is avoiding you, breaking off. Ah! Fears Dave. Turn head toward the edge. Azari? Uh, Azari's going to fire at the uh, vibrating pipe. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking at the smoke. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's some civilian down on the side. Oh, I found an apple. Funk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nat 20. Ooh. Oh, you uh, you don't hit the pipe. You go into the pipe. Fucking <laughs> 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 Luke Skywalker, that shit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It weren't near as big as a womp rat. Yeah. <laughs> Not getting that arrow back. Uh, well, down one. Uh, find a <laughs> couple hundred. Uh, I'm going that, to. That wasn't that 20, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Darn, that foils my plans. <laughs> I didn't know that it's vibrate, so I thought maybe something was going up. Uh, something's going on. I will back away from the smoke. I don't want it touching me. Perception check. Okay. Uh, that's not great. 11. Uh, okay. 
Uh, Ingve, you're up. Uh, <clears throat> you have seen uh, Hawk Hawkeye there. Yeah, <laughs> shoot down the uh, tail of the tiger. What do you want? Nice do? shooting, Tex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Ingve's uh, uh, takes this all in and he uses uh, his inferred. Sur- two sorcery points and cast moonbeam and splitting it in two and one for uh for each um thing of smoke nice sure. it's a constitution save 14 for whatever this is uh perception dave i'm sorry perception check oh okay uh yeah uh 20 not natural uh, the mist is starting to break up. Okay. Uh, I continue to drift off up into the air where the atmosphere starts to take me away like Calgon. Uh, Tall, you have witnessed Azari shoot into the pipe. Uh, you can only imagine what else he can hit like that. Uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to whip my attention around towards that shrieking sound that came from the darkened courtyard. And try Perception to see maybe I notice this. Disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yep. Okay. Uh, five. Too dark. Can't see shit. Okay. How far is said courtyard? Uh, you guys are on the sixth floor roof, so you're seven floors up. Hey. Okay. Uh, the mist, the vapors take off. Uh Everybody, per- or Azari, Dave, and Ingve perception checks. Uh, 17. 18. 21. All three of you notice that the pipe is still just a, a, just a slight jiggle. Uh, tall. <laughs> yes. Looking over. I've... Still too dark down there. Another scream is heard. <clears throat> Uh, female, maybe ish. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to uh, file that away mentally and I will uh, look back to my companions. And is it all okay? I believe I'm not it sure. <laughs> was just steam? Or What's smoke? screaming? Smoke. Uh, Ingve realizes he's got two big shafts of light, you know, shooting <laughs> from the ceiling. I did not forget that. <laughs> and if it looks like these things are not coming back, he's gonna go ahead and, and cancel the spell. <laughs> Stop the spell. <laughs> Somebody punch Ingve in the face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the lights go off. Uh, a loud rumble is heard. Fuck a doodle do. Um, From the <clears throat> courtyard area or just around the building itself? Ooh. Uh, what did you do? The undead that are one floor under. Oh, maybe. Or it could be something else. Um, <laughs> entirely. Worse, even. I blame uh, the moonbeams. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe, uh, can I look? Uh, is there any more screams? <laughs> or is that scream still going on? Or it, it, There have been two screams and then dead silence. Uh, okay. Also, tall. Uh, you do see the light coming out of the ground floor door. That has not closed. I see. Uh, which direction was the screams coming from? Straight down north okay. in that courtyard. Let's throw a so- torch down there. There's someone below. <laughs> throw a torch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which I- decide what happens next. I'm, if I could, Tall's going to step <laughs> on the edge. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use thaumaturgy, <laughs> and my voice will get super loud, three times louder than normal. And at the top of my lungs, I will say, "You down there," and see if they react. 
moonbeams screaming and and sound. <laughs> so this is where you guys die. Yes, I is going to turn to the hatch. We, just, we've turned this into a rooftop rave. Azari's just going to grab, grab, a, grab an arrow, turn to the hatch, and just pull. Like He's fully drawn, like, waiting for something to come out of the hatch. Sure. <laughs> a loud bang is heard, and then a boom from the area around that pipe. This is not looking good. <laughs> As you guys turn and look at each other, trying I think to figure I broke out the AC unit. <laughs> Close, it's the furnace. Uh, oh. a, a big cloud of black smoke is rising. It's a very acrid aroma, and it starts to billow. Do I recognize that smell <laughs> from Ba? Like, as in burning bodies? Or are they is somebody burning bodies in the furnace? Nope, none of you have smelled burning oil. Now the oh, arrow is jammed into the gear. I mean, we smell <laughs> burning bodies. So. Yeah. What's happened is, is I've stopped the flow from shooting my arrow down. And now uh, Azar yeah. goes, I think my arrow has done more damage than expected. I've killed the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dave's tying his two ropes together. <laughs> <laughs> Does He's it still John smell sweet? McClane it off the Nakatomi Tower. <laughs> yeah, Tall. You notice? Uh, mm-hmm. You hear a slam, and you notice that light on that door. Ain't no more. I turn back to my companions. They went inside, <laughs> and I'll gesture to the other building. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the smoke oh continues to billow out of the pipe. Oh. So if I tie off to one of the air conditioning units or silver metal boxes and wow. throw my 100 feet of rope over into the courtyard, will it reach close enough to the ground? Oh, yeah, most certainly. Hmm. The zombies are eating it like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, still think we're, I still believe we're safer up here than oh, down. I just want it's the rope just, to be yes. there just in case. <laughs> Give me a survival rule to see if you tie it off correctly, or don't tie it off on some cheap copper. Uh, it's plate. it's a it's a dirty twenty. Oh, okay, yeah, you're you're pretty sure you ooh, ooh, ooh. give it a couple tugs. Yeah, you think it's good. So plan B is there. Uh, the smoke continues to billow out, and it's like heat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey. it's like a volcano in the building yes it's a uh, poor construction if my simple error <laughs> <laughs> caused this much high, damage high efficiency item <laughs> we, we look on the side of the unit and it says train. central air and heat <laughs> company with the phone number <laughs> yeah. just says train yeah yeah, yeah nothing yeah there we go well, <laughs> Oh, yeah. well, if there's can't... heat, there might be fire. <laughs> Dave's gonna look in his bag and see about <laughs> pulling out his cooking pot halfway and be like, "So, okay, so I'm gonna look over the edge. I'm guessing zombies all on the ground, or perception at disadvantage. Why am I disadvantage? I have Protentious. ninety feet of." I have 90 feet of dark vision. I can see. Yeah, you look like stories up. (laughs) I got repeat 80 security cameras. Yeah. Uh, That is an 11. Uh, You see some kind of movement down there, but there's so much foliage, it's hard to tell. Everybody hears glass break all the way down. Um. Maybe I can get us a better. Has look. there been a woof noise yet? Not yet. Uh, Ingve is going to summon an animal companion, you know, a familiar, and it's a horned owl with the keen sight and all that. So he's going to he's going to release his friend in, into the air and connect <laughs> a Bluetooth connection, you know, and see. Uh, there are several zombie esque type individuals rushing towards the back windows inside this 
atrium area inside the, the little plaza. Uh, and from your horned owl, the broken glass is coming from there as they are bashing and shattering the window, apparently okay. attempting to make entry. Okay. D12 um, against me, Ingve, on what else your horned owl might see. Okay. Uh, nine. There is somebody in a tree down there. Okay. Uh, it's going to do a flyby. Mm. A Won't be able to see it. It's pretty well camouflaged in the tree uh, canopy. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm relaying this to Azari and uh, Dave and Tall. They've already gone downstairs, left you there. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, no, we, we tied him go? up first so he can't follow us. Yeah. <laughs> we tied him to the yeah, we tied him to the vibrating pipe. Yeah, yeah right. I can feel that, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so, We're not savages. Yeah. Okay. Uh so I'm gonna fly past and I'm gonna try to do a flyby for that that door that Tall saw that was open. All right, and see what I can see. Is li are lights still on, or did the lights go out when that door closed? Light, the, the light was on the inside. Right, there was no what... exterior light. So now that the door's shut, there's no windows in the door. It's a solid metal fire door, uh, and there's no light. Okay. All right. Um, would I get a better look if I perched the owl in that tree? You might. Or it might get killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a familiar. I mean, so, uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna light into the tree. Owls are their wings are pretty silent, so I guess it would have an advantage with that. Sixteen plus two. I hit it with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage? Roll for damage. <laughs> Murder hobo. Eight points of damage. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. Let me check my my familiar sheet. <laughs> see, <laughs> see what is the, uh, Yeah. How many hit Ooh. points? <laughs> Yeah. How many, how many rocks does it take to get to the center of your familiar? <laughs> Obviously only one. <laughs> well. All I had was like a small owl stat of stat block. I didn't have a like a horned owl stat block. So maybe two points. <laughs> nice. A bang, a rattle, and a shimmy. More black smoke pours out of the pipe. Wow. So um, apparently you're on Apollo. Uh, 13. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, looking over tape the edge. Air filters. Is there, is, is there any, is it just like straight, straight to the ground from uh, over the side or is there um, like balconies or anything like that off the edge? Straight down. Uh, the plaza is overgrown though. Okay. So you will hit maybe a few small branches, but nothing significant. So if we jump it. We aim for the bushes. Got it. <laughs> well, Dave already has his rope. Yeah. Uh, and the, the zombie creatures or whatever creatures are down there right now have not noticed that. Yeah, they're but they're all heading inside the building because of mm -hmm. the sounds. <clears throat> then, uh, uh, gentlemen, sorry. it might be time for us to exit as the creatures are focused on this building maybe we can make a hasty retreat as long yes. as we are as long as the <clears throat> proverbial coast is clear yes we must go before the volcano inside the building erupts they've got this <laughs> are we going over or Dave's going around? over <laughs> all right rope. Oh. I'll wait to go last, but I will go over the. <laughs> I'm going to, before Dave goes, I'm going to look no down. Before Dave goes. <laughs> well, as Dave is going down, I'm going to look down and make sure there aren't zombie creatures down there or that it's a fairly clear spacing. Uh, perception at disadvantage. Okay. I planned on doing that when I got like 15 feet from the ground. Okay. That's where my dark better. vision are doing some good. Uh, <laughs> still 21. Uh, no, you don't see anybody moving around down there. Okay. And uh, the glass crashing has ceased. Okay. Dave's not 
I mean, he's stupid, but he's not what? Uh, unwise <laughs> in the ways of the world. So I'm going to attempt to stealthily climb down. Mm, uh, everybody who's going to climb down is going to give me a strength check to start and then a dexterity check. Just two checks. Uh, a 23 strength check. Uh, that's not as good as 16. Thanks, uh, Dave. Dex. Hut, 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 right. And he's going down. Uh, and that is what Dave do. does. Second one up, how long do you wait for Dave? Do you wait till he goes all the way down, let him get down a floor, or fuck it, he's over the side, I'm going over the side too? Uh, once he gets to the halfway, I say once he gets to the halfway point, then the next person. We don't want to overbear the rope. I mean... Yeah, I like that idea. We're not, we're not all tiny, so it wouldn't be the smart idea. Who's second? How, how far does Dave get down there? <laughs> uh, only two checks on this one. So I'm, okay. I'm giving you guys the benefit on this one. It's uh, There's enough footholds here that as long as you maintain your strength grip, you're going to be fine. So okay. Azari goes over the wall next. Yep. Strength check first, you said? Yep. Okay. Uh, 15 strength. Yep. You got it. Yeah. And nat 20 on dex. <laughs> Oh, SWAT guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dave, you assume Dave reaches the bottom. Dave, I'll take a stealth check uh, as Azari starts to. 22. Dis- oh, yeah. Dave's camoed up. He looks like uh, Jesse Ventura and Predator. He's ready to go. He got time to bleed. He got time to bleed. Yeah. <laughs> as, as Azari is hut, hut, hutting over, Ingve and Tal. Give me perception checks. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. 18. Oh, damn. Where's the good D20? <laughs> Nat 20. I found it. Yeah. <laughs> Any die, Ingvantal, odd, even. Okay. Uh, I rolled my D12 since I had it. Uh, I rolled an eight, so even. I rolled a D6, got a six, even. Uh, so you're both hearing. Somebody on the stairs below in the open trap door. So they be a coming. Remember, uh, it is a simple stairwell, hollow straight down. So that sound is going to carry up. You don't know what floor they're on, but you know they're coming. So do you want to stand and fight or do you want to go over the side? Um, I'll, I'll <laughs> Tall will turn to in- Ingve and say, If they are the dead who walk, I have powers against them. If you want to go, I'll Uh, make time. If if you can, uh, I'll stay here with you because uh, I explained to Tall, shapeshifter. (laughs) I I change shape to animals. As Tall Uh, and Ingrid are up top, uh, Dave, uh, you hear a thump next to you. Azari, give me a stealth check. Uh, 21. Uh, you two are hiding behind a bush or a hedge or something. Uh, Azari, as you let go of the rope, it just lands up against the building and doesn't move. So you two are like, what the fuck are they doing up there? Yeah. Back up top, Tola and Ingve. Uh, I, I give him a nod. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they get louder. I explained to him, we can go at the same time, uh, shape shift, and I make them a spider. <laughs> so. Tall, there's a giant spider next to you. That I, is haven't, totally I haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah. I explained I, to him, I turn into animals. <laughs> I will give him another nod, and then I will turn, and I'll make my way towards the rope and be the next one to climb over. If he's going to be a spider, he can just climb down yeah. the side of the building. Yep. Bonus action, giant giant wolf spider. Uh, Tall, you are now being chased by a giant wolf spider. Give me his strength and dex see. check. <laughs> All right, the strength is Kill 19. It. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the strength is a 19, the dex is a 13. Uh, a lot of sweat from Azari and Dave uh, makes the grip uncomfortable, but you throw yourself over the top just as a head pops up in that trench 
and your companion, Wonder Twin Powers, uh, turns into a giant wolf spider, and you begin your descent. Mm -hmm. Uh, Give me, do you want to focus on what you're doing, or do you want to look up, or do you want to look down? I want to focus on what's above in case they start to climb after me. Sure. Uh, Ingve, I'm assuming a spider doesn't go backwards, kind of like uh, a squirrel. No, I'm going to web and, uh, you know, kind of throw dun, myself dun, down. Dun, 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 yeah, exactly. Dun, dun, Tom Cruise it down. Tom Cruise right into that dragon's mouth. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tal, you notice several heads uh, and you start to feel <laughs> the rope <laughs> jiggle awesome. uh azari and dave you look up holy shit there's a fucking giant wolf spider going down right at you i say shoot it off the building uh and then you see tall and then because you were in the darkness you can see up uh outlined in the moon you can see several heads up there and they look like they're trying to chop the rope meaning tall D12. <laughs> oh boy, here we oh, go. God. <laughs> Dave, now I really I, am going to die. Dave, Dave's going to look at Azari and go <laughs> and step back about 10 feet from where yeah. the rope is. <laughs> no. <The> mean thing. <laughs> On the D12, Tall got a four. Oh. Uh, tall, you feel <sighs> like Tom Petty because you are free falling. Oh, right it's it's Hans, it's Hans Gruber off Nakatomi. <laughs> what's <laughs> what's the chance that Ingbe could grab him in, you know, in spider oh, sense? I'm, I'm, I'm I, sorry, Tarzan, you're busy. <laughs> How, however, tall, mm. uh, give me a perception check. Let's see if you see the silky strand. <clears throat> uh, perception that's a 17. Uh, you see the silky strand as you start to free fall. You can try a dexterity roll to try and grab that silk. Oh, I'll definitely try to do that. Natural 20. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> you grab it. Uh, D12. Let's see about your weight problem. Yeah, I think I've got some armors on. Oh, geez. D12. I got a two. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Azari and Dave. <laughs> See the giant wolf spider shoot out its web and go racing along. You also see Hans Gruber falling, <laughs> reach over, grabs it. Uh, dexterity check for Ingve as there's a big yank on it. <laughs> <laughs> see if you go oh, flying man. into the tree, okay. Well, almost nothing. Oh man, all right, 19. 19. Uh, you leap off into the tree just as the jerk is felt. Tall D20 one through five means you're going to uh watch out for that tree and connect. Uh, six to ten means you're going to go right through the thorn hedge and leave your imprint through it. Uh, 11 through 20, uh, you're going to do the barrel roll, but you're going to be okay. Just straight up, no modifiers, no modifiers. Ah! Is that the hedge? That's the tree. (laughs) (laughs) George, George, George of the jungle. Max damage eight. (laughs) Nice. Oh, hits the tree, sends leaves down, lands in the underbrush, (laughs) and starts to pick out owl feathers. (laughs) (laughs) Hair. Azari and Dave. Uh, Ingve is in a tree in this plaza. Tull is next to the tree, face down. Uh, everybody roll perception check. <coughs> 13. 13 for Tull. 16. Uh, 16. No shit. Nat 20 again. Man. <laughs> Ingve, uh, as you land on this tree, odd above, even below. Okay. Odd above, you see a humanoid figure tall from your position on your back. Looking up, you see a humanoid figure <laughs> drop <laughs> rock on you. Oh man! Oh, oh okay. I the thought the humanoid with the figure three. was going over. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then they start to fumble in their bag. Azari, Dave. 
you notice that all the windows on the bottom half that uh, was probably a cafeteria or something overlooking this used to be nice plaza, all shattered. Uh, and you hear choking and hacking for some reason. You don't know why, but it's inside the building. Um, everybody roll initiative for who goes when. Ooh, I like that one. Matt, 20, 22. Nice. I guess I'm going last. <laughs> I rolled a one, and Ooh. that's uh, three for my initiative. So four. Ooh, speedy. <laughs> Zari and Tall. Uh, tall got a 19. Uh, 25 for Zari. Nice. Uh, Azari, uh, well, Nat 20 goes. Uh, Dave, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to head towards where that door was. Okay. Uh, the the door that was open and is now closed. Yep. Okay. Break into the modified open area. Uh, Twenty five. Azari, you see Dave sprint across the way. Uh, following Dave. Okay. No, no splitting up. <laughs> uh, Nineteen tall. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm fumbling in my bag, uh, mm-hmm. and you are doing what? I'm going to use my last channel divinity for the day. I'm going to channel divine energy into my flail mm-hmm. so that I have a uh, divine weapon going on. And then I'm going to clamber out, try to grab that individual's arm so they can't pull out whatever they're fumbling for. Sure. Uh, they aren't very high up, uh, okay. maybe eight, maybe 10 feet. So if you leap, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to do a dexterity check to see if I can get another rock. Ooh, uh, I fall out of the tree. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, as I fall out and you wanna na 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 break out the lightsaber, uh, you notice it's a kid. <laughs> uh, quick. Oh. Uh, you see two of your associates running towards the door. You see Tull with his magnificent magical religious weapon. Uh, and <laughs> A kid <laughs> flat on the grass. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, I see eight of them. <laughs> you know, yeah. I got the spikes, so going. Nice. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, if I keep this form, my 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 movement speed is forty. You know, so sure. Uh, uh, nothing like scaring the shit out of a kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, I'll go ahead. I, I've reached my destination, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and drop Wild Shape. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I don't know if the kid sees me do that. He'll be more focused on Tull uh, with his shimmering weapon. Day, or, yeah, Dave and Azari, as you reach the door, the door opens up and you see a human female. Dark hair, uh, tattered tunic-ish clothing, maybe like a burlap sack or something. Um <laughs> olive complexion uh screaming uh something you you don't know what this word is uh so nat 20 and 25 uh the door opens without your assistance and all three of you are kind of shocked but the lady is yelling something uh look behind look behind her is there anything coming up behind her no, it looks like a staircase. Okay. Just like what you uh, were in earlier. Uh, there is illumination, so she is backlit. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Oh, was that? <laughs> oh, you don't know he's at a loss? Hi, I'm Dave. Fair enough. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Oh, boy. Uh, that's a 15. Oh, that's not bad. I rolled a 17. That's not bad. Uh, tall, I am trying to get to my feet. Uh, and as I hear the lady, as you hear the lady, mm-hmm. my attention focuses towards her. Uh, I am what best can be described as a human urchin uh, wearing sackcloth clothing, dirty face, a uh, rock full of po- or a pocket full of rocks. Uh, and you can tell I'm eyeballing you, eyeballing her, eyeballing you. And you can already see I'm dipping my shoulder because mm-hmm. I'm going that way. 
I want to try to swing down out of the tree to uh, reach in and grab a hold of them, stop them. Hit me. What's that? Hit me. It's that you. just means to grab, not with the flail. Yes, that's right. Oh, <laughs> use the flail. Yeah, so uh, that's going to be a it's collateral. Uh, that's uh, twenty-one, and um, oh, yeah. yeah, so he's going to see me as I swing down out of the, the tree. That the the twenty-foot light of the weapon is going to illuminate around me. So I almost like it's this shining demon jumping down out of the the night sky towards him. I was going to go with Apollo, but okay. You grab him. Oh, by great. We could do that, too. <laughs> yeah. So you have a handful of hair. Uh, I am now screaming. Uh, Ingve, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, I... First off, Ingve, perception check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, 19 plus 6. So, yeah, 25. As you descend from the tree, you are facing tall on this urchin, and you have a clear view of the broken windows on the ground floor of this building. You see several forms. You now hear the (coughs) choking and spitting, but the shadowy forms are headed this way because, of course, there was light in that building at the time. Uh, You can also smell flame, fire. Uh, in the building that we just came from, that we just mm-hmm. sh- scuttled down. Uh, yep. Yeah, it, Ingve sensing that uh, tells Tal we must run and uh, uh, grab grab the child and run with uh, in the direction that we heard the woman calling. So, so you're gonna log roll him. <laughs> log roll. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave and Azari, the word that you don't understand is Zachariah. Zachariah. Uh, Tall and Ingve, the word you do recognize is mama, mama, mama. Okay, and we're, we're taking him to mama. <laughs> uh, Dave, uh, the lady pushes you out of the way. Zachariah, Zachariah. I'm going to hold the door. <laughs> so, <laughs> after you, ma'am. Takes off his cloak. He lays it down across the puddle. Are you kidding? Uh, I don't want it closing without us on the other side of it. <laughs> Sorry, what you, it is a dead door. So, yes, that is a good idea. Yeah. I'm going to keep my eyes on the uh, staircase. Kind of, I'm going to look. I'm going to actually go towards the middle and look up and see if I can see anything coming down or. A lot of dirty faces, uh, similar clothing. Uh, some of them might be wearing polo shirts that are tattered. Uh, they might have raided a, a, a Dick's sporting goods or something, but okay. uh, urchins for the most part. Oh. The gap. <laughs> ah, good for us. We've just ruined an entire urchin's home base. <laughs> nah, they don't need it. <laughs> so I've got Dave holding the door open, Azari inside looking. Uh, Lady Yellen Zachariah, Ingve and Tall, trying to evade the shadowy figures coming out of the uh, on fire building. Yeah. Uh, do you guys go in through the door? Tall will scoop up the boy <laughs> underneath his arm, and he will actually make haste towards the door. Yeah, yeah and, we both and, and to reunite him with the, the woman. When you get to the door, she's going to be blocking your entrance That's because fine. she wants her boy. That's fine. Yeah. And, and we- Dave, of course, is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Tr- I'm not. I personally am not trying to enter into the building. I'm just trying to bring the boy back to her. Sure. Uh, she grabs a hold of the boy and gives him a tug. Mm-hmm. Do you hang on to him? No. Play tug of kid or no? I'll, I'll let him go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, she pulls uh, in. Say you're the child's mother. She ain't talking. She pulls in, bumps into the back of Azari. Uh, Dave. You can now see the shadowy coughing, hacking figures, uh, secondhand smoke victims headed your way. Uh, You look, no door handle on one side, door handle on the other, even with your barbarian mentality. mm, I show, uh, yeah, I shove tall through the doorway (laughs) and then follow him in, pulling the door behind me. (laughs) Ingve leaving him out. I thought he was already. Actually, 
Dave, yeah. wait, don't shut it. Um, I'm going to watch the uh, hack because if they're the dead, the dead don't hack and cough. Right. Those are those are more yeah. of these urchins that are coming this way. And, Survivors. And, and yes. they, uh, and they are, agrees. Uh, probably his people. So I'm going to... All right. I'm going to stay outside the door. (laughs) I'll get outside the door. Yeah. Bow and arrow ready for anything that is not a. uh, I'll take up a place holding the door open with my foot and having my axe. (laughs) Are are there dead coming? Uh, If we're letting people in, I don't want it to close. Yeah. yeah. Or is there dead present walking down? (laughs) I can't say that term, I guess. Uh, (laughs) Zombie. Well, funny you should ask. Uh, Once the boy is inside and mom has a good grip on him, everybody on the stairs takes off running. Uh, She begins to give a verbal assault to Dave uh, and grabs a hold of Dave's arm, trying to yank the door shut. Uh, Azari. Uh, let's see how many are coming. Five individuals are coming. They are all humanoids. Um, not well dressed, a lot of sackcloth, similar to the lady, uh, dark hair. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 21. Uh, they wear some kind of bone armor, like, rib cages on top of their bodies uh they're dragging clubs behind them but they are coughing and hacking these individuals look like warriors uh one might say not Mm. exactly uh the ones that you have been dealing with but certainly they are wearing bones they're wearing some type of like armor and like five weaponry five Uh, And you can hear the lady behind you screaming at Dave. I think she's calling him a bastardo. Anyway, I mean, do we recognize? I mean, is it a language? That, is it common? I mean, it, it is slightly common. Uh, just think of it as a foreign language. Uh, okay. it, it's kind of, you know, if you guys all spoke Latin, you'd be able to understand a little bit of French or Spanish. Yeah. Right? So you're kind of understanding. Dave is understanding that she wants that goddamn door shut. Yeah, yeah I, I'll agree well, with her. Dave. Dave's pretty empathetic. If she wants the door closed and she seems afraid of those guys that are coming, I'm going to let her close the door and step forward. Oh, what is tell them? This. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to tell them? Hi, I am Dave of Ba. Would Tall be familiar with the language she's speaking? So he's D- from this D- world. D12 against me. Okay. 12. <laughs> Uh, 12 as well oh uh Ooh. yeah I'll, I'll give i'll give you a uh, limited scope on this one okay. uh, these are bad people um that's what I, I will was picking up on that's what she's saying right uh, that's the general gist of it oh okay. tall, yeah tall will turn to her and to the other people in here do not fear we are survivors too the dead who walk hunt us we uh, can they're protect. gonna kill these fuckers and i will hold my weapon up <clears throat> and it's still got light streaming all over we will protect uh odd she even her son odd she says they aren't dead <laughs> so i have dave and azari outside yeah, i'm the moving shut. towards them okay i'm bow drawn uh, Instead of Bo Swenson. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <man>. Usually. <laughs> so uh, as, as Jesse or as Azari walkie, er, walks tall, uh, Ingve and tall, you are inside. The door is shut. You can hear uh, Dave scream and squish. Uh, it's very muffled. There's a lot of insulation on this door. Uh, Dave and Azari uh, initiative. Yeah. Ugh, that's horrible. <laughs> 18. Uh, 16. Uh, 18 and 16 both go before my nine. There are five individuals. They're coming at you in a semicircle. Uh, I will uh, bonus action rage and take the middle figure. Odd even. Odd gets uh, the three. The even gets the two. Even 
Azari gets three. <laughs> don't worry, it won't be long. I don't. We don't know these guys' skill level. They can. Uh, okay, well, that's a twenty-two to hit. Sure. I'm going to deal. Where's it at? There's the D12, and there's the D6. <clears throat> I am going to deal 16 points of slashing damage and six points of radiant damage for a total yeah. of 22 points and a big flash of white light. Sure. Squish. Okay. Uh, after watching Dave's hit, is that guy still good to go? Yeah. <laughs> Isa. Okay. I'm going to attack the attack one of them with a bow. Oh, that's a. I can do math. Uh, 25 to hit. Yep. Okay. And he gets... Where are you, D8? There we go. Uh, he gets six points of piercing damage. And then uh, with my for the first round, I get two attacks. So I'm going to take a second attack. Um, and you sharpshooter. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. Yep. Okay. Same one as the others. Uh, same one. So then that does an extra D8 plus 10. That's 11 plus 4, 15, 25 points of damage on the second shot. So 31 total. Yep. You ain't doing too well. Uh, Azari perception, Dave perception at disadvantage because the battle lust is overcoming you. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Dave, Dave's perception at disadvantage is 16. 25 for Azari. So you both realize that these guys are using some kind of rudimentary jagged spear, possibly old metal, mm -hmm. but there is some kind of gooey substance on the metal part. Shit. Uh, before I attack inside, Tull and Ingve, Tull, uh, these guys aren't dead. These guys are bad guys. Okay. Well, Ingve rolled last in the addition because I rolled a one. So, um, Paul will just give the woman one last look, and it's a very serious look. And he turns and he will storm through the door to try okay. to go out and help his companions. Give me your initiative roll as well, please. So, a new one. Mm -hmm. uh, initiative um, seven. 17. Okay. Yep. So outside, I got three on Azari, two on Dave. Uh, they kind of slash at you with these jagged metal spears. Dave, I got a seven and a three. Doesn't matter how many bonuses I have, that ain't going <laughs> to do it. Jesse, there are three on you. Okay. An 18, a 10, and an 11. Uh, what's your AC? 16. One of them hits, okay. uh, and it gives you a nice jagged cut. I need a constitution save, please. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, that is a 23. Uh, yeah. The toxin does not appear to have any effect. However, maxed out on the D8, Damn. you take 10 slashing damage. Uh, the door yeah. bursts open behind you, uh, and... Tall D12 against me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a one -er. That's a nine. The door slams shut behind you in Ingve. Uh, top of the order, I have an 18, 17, and 16. So Dave, raging. Uh, your guy's banged up, not nearly as banged up as Azari's. I'm going to hit that same one again. Okay. Uh, that is a natural 20 for a total of 26 <laughs> to hit. Yep. Um, and I guess I got to roll another D12. Mm -hmm. uh, Twelve. Twenty-one. And five radiant. Twenty-one slashing, five radiant. Squish! Oh, he goes. And uh, as a bonus action, I will use an offhanded strike to hit the other one. Okay. Uh, does a 19 hit him? Yep. And then I want to grapple him. Oppose strength check. I'm a tavern brawler. Nat 20. So did I. We oh, rolled 20s strength. all over the place. Eight. Oh. Oh, eight. I got an 11. That's great. Oh, 
Uh, add four to f- make it 15. Yeah, I, I only add two. So, okay, you got a hold of my arm. Okay. Uh, 17 tall, your two associates are deep in combat. Dave has sundered one and is uh, handing another one. Ah, uh, the old reach around. Oh, you yeah. Dave. <laughs> Trying to make friends. Yeah. <laughs> Tall's going to close the gap between the doorway he just came out of and one of the nearby, <laughs> I'm assuming, raiders. And I'm going to try to attack. Uh, with my weapon is still glowing with the holy energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've got three on Azari, only one on Dave. Um, I'll go to one of the three that's on Azari because I, I right. saw him just get hit, and three against one's not very nice. So, okay, all right. So, to hit, it's going to be a 21. Yep, okay. And as I hit, it's going to be the damage for the flail is 1d8 plus two, which is nine plus my oh, uh, sacred weapon. What's that? That's going to be oh, that just gives me a bonus to attack, okay. Um, oh, so my attack was way higher than that because I had my plus five for my charisma bonus. Um, so then I'm going to use a divine smite against that same guy. I'll release it as it hits. He's going to take eight plus five, 13 more damage. So there's an uh, explosion of red so fire that bursts out from the weapon as it hits him. That was nine, two, and 13. 24. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Azari. Uh, Azari, uh, I will drop my bow and grab my sh- pull out my short swords. Um, and then I will bonus action cast Hunter's Mark on the guy I just hit. Mm-hmm. And then I will stab him. Juicy. <laughs> uh, that is a 17 to hit. Hit. Okay. And that's 2 to 6. Uh, that is nine, 13 points of uh, piercing damage. Uh, cutting open his chest just below the external rib cage that he has exposes all of his guts. They drop out. He keels over. Uh, Azari or Ingve had the one. Uh, I have two, but. One will go after Azari. The other one will engage Tall. And then Dave, I'm not even going to try and break grapple. I'm going to try and gut you. So (laughs) on Dave, only an eight. So that ain't going to work. On Tall. Abs flex out of the way of that. (laughs) Six. That ain't going to work. I don't wear any armor. It's got to be abs. Azari, 17. (laughs) I knew it was coming. I knew knew it was going to happen. Okay. Uh, only a six this time on damage, but I'm going to need another con save. Jeez Louise. Yikes. 23 again. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Ingve, you've got one on Dave, one on Tall, one on Azari, and the door just shut behind you. Uh, give me a perception <laughs> check first. Okay. Uh, that would be a 14 in perception. Uh, shadowy figures inside the building choking and coughing at least one round, maybe two rounds out. Okay. Uh, all right. Seeing this, uh, Ingve is going to uh, raise his hands. You'll, you'll see his eyes like turn green. And he is cast, casting... Uh, he, he picks a spot where the combat is taking place and everybody's engaged and casts Wither and Bloom. And what it does is they'll have to make a constitution saving throw. Them or everybody? Just them. I can, I okay. can pick who, who does it because the spell is they take damage and I pick a person to roll a hit die and they get points back. Oh, wow. That's my like third eight against <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Uh, 15 for Talls. Okay. Uh, six against Azari and uh, con, no con bonus. So 15 is the best I roll. Okay. My, my con was 14, but uh, the one that failed is going to take... Um, two that failed. Uh, two that failed. They are going to take uh, a total of eight points of necrotic damage. Okay. And Azari will get uh, one... 
hit die back, whatever he rolls. Tall, your guy withers and falls to the ground. So you get one d10 of hit points back. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet! Okay. That's beautiful. That's a nice I'll spell. Roll, I'll roll that six. Hey, ah, nice. Top of the order, eighteen. Dave, Dave, you still have a grip on this guy. Yeah, I kind of want to swing him into his buddy, the nearest one. Nice. Uh, it'll be close. D12 against me. Let's see if you've got the arm length for it. Oh, hell Two. Yeah. Uh, nine. Sure. Uh, if you miss, you will miss. Not critical miss. Miss. You will hit Zari or Tall. If you critically miss, you're Am bowling both for friends. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how's a 16 strike you? That's unmodified. Uh, Azari, the guy now in front of you is just blitzed by Dick Butkus as this body comes flying through the air. Uh, give me give me a D12 and a D4 for weight differential, and I'll make a dexterity check to see if I get to keep my feet. <laughs> no. I got a 10 and a 4. Okay. Uh, nice. Next up, 17. Tall, you and Azari were going to gang up on this guy. Uh, he has been tackled by one of his associates, and the two are crumpled on the ground. Uh, how many oh, feet away? Man. Not very far. Uh, two feet away. So we can gang pile on them. Uh, you can start stabby, stabby. I mean, they're, they're just crumpled together. <laughs> Yeah, I I have a personal tenant against attacking a foe who is down and not up and standing against me. God, so I will hold my action for no. <laughs> Stop him. <laughs> okay, Azari, start head stomping his ass. Um, I have Azari no such compunction no such <laughs> as I am a hunter and uh, nice. I sometimes pray uh, foolishly knocks themselves over. Uh, so Azari <laughs> will bonus action move over his um, uh uh, Hunter's mark to the one that had attacked him, and yeah. then he just pretty much walks over and yoink. Okay. Sticky. Um, Sticky. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, how's it? Oh, that's that's advantage because it's yep right on okay. the deck. Yep. Oh, come here. Come back here. That'll hit. That's uh, do 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 twenty five to hit. Oh yeah, easily. Okay, and 2d6. Uh, and then that is 11 points of piercing damage. Five. Okay. Uh, my turn. Uh, odd, even. Odd, I will surrender. Even, I will just, at disadvantage, use my weapon to slash, uh, and I'll determine... Who I'm going after first or second. So first guy that Azari just attacked. Even fuck it, game on. Uh <laughs> the one that Dave threw. 16, even fuck it, game on. Uh Azari, your guy is gonna swing low. Okay. Uh the other guy will swing high. Uh Ingve is not in range. So Azari's guy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four is going to go after Azari. The other guy, six, will go after Tall. Azari, nine. Uh, Not going to happen. Tall, 13 plus 215. That'll miss. Swing and a miss. Uh, Ingve, you're up. Okay. Uh, I still green again. He's going to wither those two again. Uh, the, the two that are re- remaining. So, again, they'll have to do a con save. 16. Okay, that one. Fan. And yes. one. <laughs> All right. The one is going to take... Yeah, I rolled poorly. Uh, four, four points necrotic damage. Okay. And, Jesse, are you still down hit points? Yep. Okay. Uh, another another hit die. Woohoo! Not for oh. lack of me trying. <laughs> right. There's <laughs> only one hit point. Top of the order, Dave. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to step over and hit that mother again. Yeah. I think it, Dave has not taken any damage. Huh? Uh, it's a 19 to hit. It'll yep. do 11 points of slashing damage and three points of radiant damage. Got it. Uh, 17 tall. Uh, you may not want to hit these guys, but that's a big fuck you. They're going to try to hit you. Yeah. They're still on the deck, though. So yep. they are. So it is advantage to hit them. Okay. Yep. They says they are openly attacking, and they're not as injured as <laughs> I thought. Uh, my code enables me to yeah. continue to protect my allies. So I will actually bring the flail down and strike against the one. If I hit, let's see. Okay. Ten plus uh, be a four. Uh, that'd be a uh, fifteen to hit. Hits. Okay. And then they're going to take damage is the same as before. 1d8 plus 2. So that'll be 6 plus my Divine Smite. Oh, no, that uses a spell slot. Oh, I will save that. Um, so just the uh, just the 6. Ooh, heavily bleeding. Azari, you're up. Let's try and finish him off, I guess. Oops, back to stabby stabs. Stabby, stabby. Uh, I don't know. That'll 23 to hit. Yep. Are you going after the same one Tall just hit? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, 9 plus Thank 4. You. 13 points of piercing damage. Right through the eye as he only had one hit point left. Hooray! Uh, so You're welcome. No, I'm kidding. Odd, odd <laughs> even. <laughs> Uh, eight. That's a big fuck you guys. I have three people I can go after. Let's get out the murder hobo con die. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Five. It's going after tall. Mm-hmm. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> this one is only rolling eights tonight, so it's nice. going to sit out. I'll move. Big red two into the fray. <laughs> oh, <crap. laughs> nice. Uh, Ingve, there's only one left. Ingve? Okay. Yep. Uh, Ingve is going to produce flame and try to hit him with uh, some flame. So, uh, does... are you aiming at this guy with this flame? And how far does the flame go? Uh, produce the flame 60? Range is. Produce flame. Let me look that up real quick. Uh, as far as I could throw it, <laughs> ten feet. Mm. Oh, oh, just ten feet. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna hit him with one d8 of uh, modifier. Sure. Uh, let's see. Does uh, does a fifteen hit? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that's six points fire damage. Exactly what you needed to kill him. Uh, nice. Yeah, if it would have shot 60 feet, you would have seen an explosion that you had never seen before because <laughs> there is a gas leak inside the lawyer building. Oh, That's shit. That's why everybody is uh, coughing and hacking. Uh, all of your opponents are dead. Ingve has noticed there are several other individuals. Uh, so Dave, Azari, and Tal, give me perception checks. All right. Uh, 21, 17, uh, not 20 plus seven, 27. All three of you turn, you see more assailants. However, uh, they're taking a knee, uh, they're coughing. They're holding themselves up against, uh, the decorative stone pillars at the back, the remaining furniture here up along the second and third story. You see flickering flames. Uh, something seems to be making these humanoids gag and choke. That's uh, what she said. I read the <laughs> spell wrong. The, the range is 30 feet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Something has changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I hit the guy. But I hit the guy within 10 feet. So. Oh, yeah. You hit the guy. But however, the flame goes through the broken glass in, and there is this giant fireball there's the wump that just <laughs> uh everybody in there uh whether they live or die is on fire so there's a lot of things and you guys all hear 
this shuddering and the flames on the second and third floor are up to the fourth, fifth and sixth floor and the heat, everybody make a dexterity save from the heat. Uh, <coughs> 14. Dirt. Dirty 20. Uh, yeah, thir- uh, 22. What's your uh, spell saving, Vic? Spell save? Yeah. Uh, uh, for the produced flame or for? For just anything. Oh, uh, uh, 14. Okay, so Dave does pass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what's Ingve's? Ingve rolled a one. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting... Beat by background. your own, tooted by your own patad. <laughs> uh, fortunately for you guys, two ones, a two, and a three does not spell much success for me. Ingve takes seven hit points of damage. Dave, Azari, and Tal only take three as this fireball, the, the flame goes in, the fireball comes out, knocks you down. <clears throat> Everything inside that building is on fire. There's the shaking and the shuddering, uh, and you aren't really sure what to make of it because you've never seen a six-story building uh, crumble. Uh, and as you all turn around and look, nice. that door is shut, and you guys are kind of in an enclosed plaza area. There's several buildings here. You can run down the alleys of two spaces uh folks at home earlier i sent out uh, a map of what they could see directly across from the building uh you were in is that cockeyed building you can get in between either side there or you can run directly along the line out towards the road out by six or what i call six what you guys call that starting point there, the red, I think it was a red, red star. star, red star. Yeah. You are here. So, so you can run alongside the building and see if you can grab Dave's rope or you can hightail it the other way, or you can beat on the fire door and hope the lady whose child you didn't murder, uh, might let you in. <clears throat> let's give that. Let's try that first and, uh, at least give that one round and then is that a- you know, just run up to the door and boom, 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 boom. Oh, <laughs> As the smoke comes is off. Is there an the alley yeah. to the east of that door? <clears throat> uh, there is no. Oh, uh, yeah. The double dark line. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. There, there is an alleyway there, too. Okay. It's kind of one of those porticos. Yeah. Just for reference. Uh, okay. Who wants to D12 against me at the fire door? I will, since I'm the one knocking on it. There you go. That's awful. Stay on the fucking table. Ingo's pissed because his uh, pretty white lab coat just got singed. Oh, no. <laughs> no answer with a seven. Well, let's get the fuck out of here, <laughs> gentlemen. We must go. A loud, a loud screeching is heard as the interior supports of the building are starting to give way. Due to Azari's gas leak on the furnace, as well oh, as shit, that's the arrow arrow. Uh, Do you want to go east through the portico and hope for the best? Do you want to go north uh, to the cockeyed building, or do you want to run west towards? Or no, I'm turned around. West would be that area, Dave. No, and folks, not if, I, not I, if I, up is south, right. If up is I, south, the pink triangles on the south or is on the north, mm-hmm. and that portico would be to the east. That's right. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah. Th- okay. So if, if you follow it around, right. See that double the double dark line up top to the right. Oh, the yeah. one to the. Oh, okay. So there's one. There's that, one either way. That's yeah. The one you that's meant? the portico. Oh, okay. Down so, farther. So- yes. That that is that is your escape route. That's- if I may, um, with my background as an urchin, would I be able to have my city se- streets, I'm sorry, city secrets uh, background feature where I can know secret patterns and flows to the city, kind of maybe expedite our retreat yeah, through here? City. You would indeed, because this city is much like the city that you come from. Okay. Only nicer because your people are just pigs. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you're in a war torn land. Yeah. Um, 
yeah so whatever way we we go we can kind of find a better way through it so we can actually move twice as fast as we normally would be able to in light of all the uh, commotion going on yep your choice let's boogie through that political path. so i'll look to i'll look towards azari run <laughs> so do run. Which, which way or do we want to go red star pink this way or straight down on the map <clears throat> Towards the light. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Portico. Towards the light. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're talking the light. They want to go straight down down on the map, Frank. Okay, that's fine. Uh, You guys go through there. uh, Tall leading the charge because he's got the urchin issue. Uh, You come across what you know. You don't know what it is, but it's a manhole Mm -hmm. uh, cover Mm -hmm. uh, in between the two buildings. Uh, and you are well aware that uh, these kinds of things lead to uh, subterranean passageways that might also help you, or you can keep running like hell because you hear the creak into the building behind. Dave, I need your strength. Okay. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> and I will. I will help him try to <clears throat> move the manhole cover. Sure. Oh. Both of you <laughs> strength check. Twenty-three. This is where uh, that tall guy leads you to your death. That's it. I've been playing you all along. <laughs> I got a 19. Uh, oh, yeah. You guys pop open that thing. Uh, you hear a big creak and a groan. Uh, that building is one. It's going to go towards the street. Uh, three, it's coming towards you. Two and four. <laughs> Okay, uh, you rip open the manhole cover. Azari and Ingve, you guys are watching the six and the twelve. You look up and you see the building coming, coming down. Towards oh, shit. Uh, Tall and Dave, you guys rip open the manhole, throw it to one side. There are the metal rungs uh, that are a little bit rusty, but appear to be okay. Who wants to dive down first? Dave. As Azari and Ingve yells. Ah! <laughs> go go go! Dave, Dave will dive down feet first. You dive first, or do you just straight down and say? I'm just going to jump line? in. Okay, nice. fair enough. Uh, give me a dex roll. Uh, plus two, fourteen. Into the splash, uh, about up to shin in water and crap, old crap, really old crap, really stinks. Uh, who's in second as the building starts to collapse? Paul is going to motion for his <coughs> friends to come. He's going to hold the manhole what cover. A, what about Azari and Ingve? <laughs> oh, yeah, them too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look, look around me as I get my f- footing. O- only one. Right. You're but, not at an intersection. You're in a good. tube. Uh, Ingve or Azari. Uh, Tall's yelling, get in, get in, get in. The building um, is. <laughs> Yeah, who, whoever. Do you want to roll off on it, Jesse, to see who? Azari starts running straight to it and just runs and jumps, whoop, just jumps in. Doesn't he's even... fo- Angbe's following suit. <laughs> Fair enough. Azari, give me a dex roll. Okay. 17. Uh, Angbe? All right. Uh, dex roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, God, five. <laughs> Azari does not get out of the way fast enough <laughs> as Ingve lands on him. Ingve Azari knows and- better. He just goes and tries to catch Ingve. <laughs> Two hit points for both of you. Uh, tall, the moon has <laughs> now been uh, covered up as the tall building begins to descend rapidly right towards you. I'm going to try to swing down in and climb down a little bit. I'm going to try to pull the manhole cover. So that the, the when the building hits, the debris does not fall down in on top of us. Uh, it, it's a pretty heavy manhole cover. Uh, I'm going to need a strength check, and it's going to have to be high. Okay. I'm sure it won't be. <laughs> uh, nine plus two, 11. So, yeah. Yeah, you ditch that manhole cover yeah. and give me a dex check. I can do that. Yeah, once I realize yeah, it's too much. Ladder, uh, you can do it at advantage. Okay. Yeah. Once I realize it's too heavy, I'm going to try to just climb down real quick uh, with the, the advantage. It's going to be a dexterity uh, 19, 18. You plus hit one. the bottom just as the building collapses down, sending brick, mortar, and cinder all over you. Everybody roll dex check DC 13 or better, and you won't get anything. 
Uh, 16 for Tall. 19. Uh, 17 for Ingve. 21. All of you get out of the way. Uh, the water splashes up on you, uh, and it is pitch freaking dark in here. Yes, because uh, my, my sacred weapon does go out. <laughs> Coincidentally with the timing, it does go out at that point. <laughs> uh, That's round 10. <laughs> there's a rumble in the earth. You can feel the water lapping at your shins. Dave, you will know that it only goes in two directions. The walls are going to be brick, sometimes cement. Uh, it's going to be coated in slimy yep. lichens and moss. Uh, it smells horribly down here. Uh, I won't even have you guys check. You know that if you go this way, uh, it's towards the underside of the building you were just in, that area. The other way towards that big bright light. Um, Dave's gonna pull a torch out and spark whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I heard spark a torch. Ingbe <laughs> <laughs> learned his lesson. He's not gonna be producing flame anytime soon. You, you know, you'd think Dave would have done that. Azari sees him doing that, and he immediately like goes to cover his eyes with his yeah. arm. Dave, er, Dave, D12 against me. Dave does not understand noble gases. <laughs> or uh, noble, ignoble gases. 11. 7. Uh, it stinks, but it's not methane. And that torch roars, so there's a little bit of methane in there. That torch uh. roars to life. Uh, <laughs> and, and then I'll just see. head off towards the uh, light direction. Okay. Uh, you could see a lion visibly relieved. Like, <laughs> uh, Dave, Dave has no ideas that gas can combust. You blew the manhole cover off of one before you got to town. <laughs> yeah, so I don't make that connection. That was Ingve. <laughs> now that was Ingve would produce flame. Ingve oh, has that magic shit. I don't have magic. Hey, fair enough. Uh, you guys are down in these tunnels. Uh, after a few minutes of trotting through, you, a there ain't no stealth about it. You guys are making noise going through shin deep shit. Um, smell, you're starting to get used to it. Uh, it's not too terribly bad. Uh, and you will reach your first branch. Uh, the tunnel empties into a larger room, maybe 20 by 20. Uh, inside, uh, the water swirls into the middle. The water is fed uh, from all four directions. So it flows into the central chamber uh, and you can tell in the torchlight that there's a rounded grate of some kind and the water is filtering in through a lot of debris, uh, old clothing, broken wood, maybe some environmental stuff, uh, certainly some plastic. Uh, so folks, recycle your plastic. Uh, there is a ledge along the entire square uh it is slick and hazardous uh the water as you get to this area has picked up speed just through inertia but this appears to be a low point where the four streams of smell gather mm. uh looking around um there's a lot of i'll say guano around here on these walls uh Dave, I assume you're first holding the torch. Uh, you can kind of move along the edge uh, because as it gets closer, it branches out. So there's now a four-foot feeder into this main room, and the water's swirling. Uh, so a couple days ago, it must have been raining. Tall will confirm that it rained about three days ago pretty bad. While so, we have a moment, I will say, is now what? who is hurt? A little hurt, but I can take care of that. <laughs> I mean, if you like, I could heal us. It's quite all right. Let's focus. I'm emotionally on... hurt. <laughs> emotionally hurt. <laughs> Let's focus on getting out of this area and finding a new space to rest. Okay. Um, if we, if it looked like we're going to run into something, uh, emergency. Healing might be needed at that point, but until then, let's focus on getting out of here. As soon as Asari says yes. run into something, 
Dave kind of tilts his head sideways, and turns and hand his, hands the torch to Ingve and then takes his axe out. <laughs> so uh, once you get to this runoff area, you can use the path to kind of move along and go straight ahead, continuing straight ahead. You can take a side tunnel left or right, or you can actually go into the sewage water uh, and see if there's anything really cool inside the debris pile. <laughs> and I will see what kind of encounter is probably here. <laughs> <laughs> that hint was just too good, Frank. <laughs> oh, man. Let, let me really... tell you something about water fountains, Kevin, and bodies of water <laughs> in Frank's hints. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh. Is this a water feature? You're saying this yeah. is a water, it's a water feature? feature yep. It's a water feature. <laughs> it's a water feature. <laughs> you probably invested the hell out of this. <laughs> I expect you to just run out the clock on this episode with this water feature. <laughs> Got it. 30 minutes on water feature. Okay. That's it. That's it. Uh... And I don't have putrid sewers, but. Darn you can it. get putrid sewers at Adventure Sense, and that's what this place smells like. So smells find, like the, yeah, find the Kyle video of him choking, nearly dying. That's what this place smells like. Nice. Uh, all right. Well, let's let us continue moving forward. So, are you going to cut across the water, or are you going to take the ledge? Um, there are disease that can spread in things. Maybe the ledge. Well, if you want to be a pansy about it. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's take the ledge. <laughs> Tall gets a very confused look. He doesn't know what a pansy is. So he gets a really confused look. It's a great face. warrior. <laughs> <laughs> it means great <laughs> warrior of fragrant flowered scents. <laughs> so you should introduce yourself. I am Pansy. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. I am tall of Pansy. Oh, yeah. Uh, are we taking the left? Are we taking the right? Or are we going two by two around this narrow ledge? It's about it's a foot and a half. So it's already. not horrible. Let's uh we'll take the right ledge. Fair enough. Everybody give me dexterity rolls. Not saying oh, slipping on some poop. Just straight decks. Mm. 16. You keep your footing. Uh 19. Footing. 15 footing. Yep. I had a 17 so. footing. Uh, so you guys go around. You are now at the right feeder tube, uh, which. Would have been about where you guys came from. Uh, you have to make a little pansy great warrior leap mm. over to the ledge. So everybody do that. Okay. Is that oh, athletics or? Yeah, I'll give you athletics this time. Oh, excellent. Good call. 15. Safe. 15. Uh, safe. 24. Really safe. 19. Everybody makes the little leap. However, as you make this leap, everybody roll perception. Uh, uh, nope. At 20, 27. I was yeah. looking to see how my fuzzy slippers are doing, so that's all I saw. <laughs> uh, 18 plus They're looking six. kind of beat yeah. up. I uh, something. 16. Tall Azari Ingve. Something just moved through that water. It uh, reminds you of eels, only much, much larger. Uh, maybe the screeching eels. Um, <laughs> yeah. there's something in there so as you move down and around this corner give me that dex check again Ooh. don't like my six I got 14 I didn't know I, I got a three <laughs> oh. <laughs> the torch warriors fall three <laughs> 
<laughs> Moongrave ro- rolled an eight, so I must have been pulled down by Azari. <laughs> uh, Dave, you notice that Azari slips on an old banana peel, goes <laughs> headlong into the sewage water, and <laughs> that torch is extinguished bigger <sighs> than shit. Uh, as you freeze, Ingve and Tall do not react as quickly, and you hear splash, splash. <laughs> And you hear the flailing of water. Yeah. Uh, Azari, Tall, and Ingve, you are each tall enough that you can kind of feel the bottom uh, yeah. as you're bobbing in and out. Uh, but one of you, oh no, Azari, oh no, oh, no. <laughs> feels something very slimy uh, brush his leg, uh, and it's it's an elongated brush. So mm. you're thinking. Eight to ten foot long creature. Uh, That's an eye pop up, like in Star Wars. Yeah. You know, the sewer creature. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. The torch is out, so none of you know that. Hey, uh, I've got dark vision. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, roll initiative. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, man. Oh, that's going to be good. Nineteen. Same. Nineteen. Twelve. Seven. Eighteen for me, uh, Dave. Uh, the dark vision uh, allows some ambient some dim, light. Yeah. You, yeah, you can't see in the dark. You see heads bobbing, uh, but you're pretty sure you must be rock here. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I'd better get out another torch and light it. Yeah, you're pretty sure there's four heads in there somewhere. Uh, You get out your torch and you start to strike it. Azari, you also had a 19. Uh, You felt something brush and it's going from one direction away uh, for now. I'm going to pull out uh, one of my short swords and keep waiting and kind of like moving my way to the back to the to try and climb up the edge. If it gets close, I'm going to attack it. Yeah. As soon as that torch is lit, I'm going to put a javelin in my hand. Sure. Uh, oh, my turn. <laughs> uh, Azari, you feel it brush back. <laughs> oh, step, step, step. <laughs> oh, please be a one. <laughs> Jab yourself in the leg. You are yeah. Disadvantage in the dark. Okay. Underwater. Okay. <laughs> the moral artery is cut in half. Well, that's not a bad. That's not a bad roll. Thirteen. A thirteen actually does hit. Sweet. Uh, it takes six points of piercing damage. Uh, everybody hears uh, Azari shriek in what Tall would describe as a pansy yell. <laughs> yeah. Great uh, warrior yell. Yes. With good. With good reason. <laughs> uh, wow. Ingve, you had the 12, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, give me a survival roll. All right. Uh, survival? Okay. Uh, 19 plus 6, so 25. You have a good idea of where the scream came from, where the water slosh, and as he kind of ballerinas his way across. So if you want to attack, you can attack at disadvantage in the dark regardless of any night vision. Uh, uh, I, um, yeah. Uh, produce flame. Is it real flame or is it magic flame? It's real flame. It's real flame. Oh, shit. Okay. And you're in a different room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. hey, don't worry, because it's not like when uh, the torch hit the water. The entire, you know, the whole water didn't go oh. up in flames. So I think yeah, we're okay. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's a great hey, point. Hey, Jesse, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Ingve's, yeah, hand will will produce flame, and he's holding the mode of fire. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Statue of Liberty, tall, is now with you. Uh, you so, see Azari stabbing at the water. Give me a perception check. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ingve, perception check or. No, uh, tall. Uh, just you, a, produced flame. Just a uh, eight on that. Uh, you see him stabbing from the front. You do not see the head coming up from behind him. Uh, with the spark lit, uh, Dave, you reach for your javelin. Uh, I assume you're going to strong hand the javelin and weak hand the torch. 
Yeah. Uh, top of the order is 19. So, Dave, you have a javelin. You yep. see Azari stabbing at the water. Go ahead. Okay. There is at something in the water. <laughs> no, yeah, not at disadvantage oh. because uh, there is now illumination. Oh, that's right. Okay, so. You can see the water movement. Uh, 17 plus 6 is 23 and 8 piercing. 14. Azari, the first time it moved between your legs, it was moving away. The second time you surmise it was coming back, and it has made it at least halfway through, meaning part of it is behind you, part of it is in front of you. I, I, I don't like this situation at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Fight it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will. Uh, I will. Wood elves I will, are present. <laughs> I will we retcon this into a purple worm. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I will. Maybe purple worm. I will stab again. <laughs> or am I close enough? Have I made it close enough to the the edge that I could try and climb back up? You or can, how? but that'll give me a free attack at advantage. Okay, I'll stab it. Uh, at disadvantage still since it's underwater no uh, now with the light you can see the movement uh, the water's murky and shitty uh, but you can still see you know the undulations as the body moves up it's okay. kind of serpent like okay okay that is a uh, 15 to hit it's okay Three, three. Uh, seven points of piercing damage nicely done uh, you hear a hiss uh, and out of the corner of your eye you see this giant snake head going for you oh shiza with a 19 Ooh. it bites down and you feel it coiling around your leg oh. so I'm, I'm, I'm oh, going man. to need a strength check no poison so you know that's a plus yeah but it's still, it's still gonna hurt. It's probably a yeah. vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strength check. Okay. Wow. Strength check or strength save? Uh, check. Check. Okay. Oh, nice. Twenty-two. Five hit points. It was a really shitty roll. Uh, and you still have footing, but there's no way you're gonna be able to leap up onto the ledge. Okay. Uh, twelve. Ingve. You see the snake serpent bite into him. I'm not saying yawn tea. I'm just saying. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's screaming. Uh, the light is flickering off. The current continues to flow, uh, continues to stink, but it does not continue to explode. What do you want to do, Ingve? Okay. Uh, Ingve is a warcaster, so he can wield his scimitar at the same sure. time. Okay, and I'm going to try to stab the snake. <laughs> sure. Okay. One, 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 one. one. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate you, bud. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to kill anybody in this encounter, but it's nice to have the fear of God in you guys. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. I, I rolled a 19 plus five, so 24. Nice. Uh, easy to hit, hard to kill. Okay. Uh, that is uh, six points uh, slashing damage. I'm so hoping this thing lasts another round so I can yell, sweep the leg, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're up. All righty. Uh, I was saving my last spell for something else, but I will, in fact, use it now. I'm going to pull down the divine energy uh, once more. I will call upon my god, Kakistos, and uh, there is orange E-type energy that uh, tingles around all three of my companions as I bless them with divine power. Nice. So, as long as I concentrate, they can add a D4 to their attack or saving throw rolls. Nice. Uh, oh. Dave, you got another javelin or no? Oh, well, how close is uh, Zari and the snake to me? Uh, he was about halfway in, so he's maybe 10 feet away. So, so like, I mean, potentially I could set the torch on the ledge and then leap in with my axe and attack the snake. Sure, you could you could uh, lay the torch down on the guano. That'd be fine. <laughs> yep. 
That snake's got his Ari. That's what's going to happen. You're going to have blue light. It's going to smell great. There's going to be plenty of light. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope you roll a one because you're going to teabag a Zari and go into the debris. <laughs> <field>. <laughs> uh, no, I rolled a 15, which is a 21. That hits. And I maxed damage. Uh, 12 uh, plus 4 is 16 slashing damage. Nice. Got it. Azari, uh, you know it's trying to wrap your leg. Sweep the leg, Johnny. <laughs> Put him in a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's get the snake off of me. Maybe you go through to Wonderland here, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Snake, 15, 18. Yeah, that'll that'll hit. Uh, twenty four for seven more points of piercing damage. Nice. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Give me yeah. a shrink. <laughs> oh Jesus! Try and bite you in the head again. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, even with the D four, that is a <laughs> nine. <laughs> As the snakehead snaps on to Azari's furry Leonid head. Oh no. Uh, a tug is felt on his boot and down he goes Ooh, underwater. Oh, uh, <laughs> now, now it'll be disadvantage. Uh, seven damage. Uh, really shit rolls here. Uh, Ingve, you've witnessed Dave drop the torch, dive into the water, and you see whoosh, uh, the sulfur light up from the guano. Uh, no real discerning effect other than now you have a lot of cool lights. Azari has gone underwater and now it it's a little dicey hitting stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um uh, Ingve's gonna try to 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 uh either Torture try to grab for, for Azari or the creature. <laughs> so uh, if, if you, well, either way, it's going to be disadvantaged. So do you want to grab the, uh, serpent thing or do you want to grab Azari? Uh, I'm going to grab for Azari. So, okay. What's your AC Azari? Are you sure you want to do that? Cause I'm like, <laughs> Azari's remember Azari's like six, eight, like 260 pounds. You can um, yank that tail right off. How? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, uh, Ingve might pull him, but my AC is a sixteen. So okay, <laughs> hit him. I don't, at disadvantage. I don't, I don't okay. remember how big Ingve is, but uh, this is okay. going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I think you're thinking oh, of man. crow because crow's smaller. Uh, that I uh, might be thinking of crow. Okay, uh, nineteen. Oh yeah, you uh-huh. you got a hold of him. <laughs> okay, do I make yeah. a strength? Uh, you're going to give me a D6. I you grab my the, free arm or my sword arm. <laughs> well, that, one, that's to be one, seen. One is his head right next to the serpent's mouth. Oh. Two is his strong arm. Three is his weak arm. Four is the free leg. Five or six is the wrap leg. Okay. And six is the nuts. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ball tag. Ugh. So four and five are legs. Six is the groin. Four and five's the leg. Okay. I rolled a four. So that, that's the free leg. Okay. So okay. So you got him. Now give me a strength roll. Okay. All that's right. great. Pull me from my free leg so I go deeper into the water. <laughs> <laughs> strength. Okay. 19. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You break the grasp of the snake. Uh, Azari, you feel it release. Ingve, you get driven back a little bit. Tall, uh, you have imparted your powerful light on it, uh, but you still don't see Azari. You see Ingve pull back, uh, starting the mower, if you will. <laughs> uh, and Dave's in the water, too, and the Colorful lights of the bat guano are lighting mm. it up. Yeah, I'm dun, going. Dun, to... dun, 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 dun. That's You're it. At disco. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so a rave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to. Um, I'll jump down in the water and 
next to them, but I will hold my attack in case the creature's head becomes visible. A one, you land on Azari. Okay. <laughs> you land on the snake. Anything else, you just land. Straight up D20. D20. 14. Okay, you're in the water too. Top of the order, Dave. Uh, Azari's underwater, uh, yep. except for his leg. <laughs> which they well, hold I, kind of, I, I, I do that kind of underwater. geometry to some degree and um, oh, oh, rage. Oh, oh. What are you? <laughs> yeah, I do that geometry. It's a shape. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Right. And then ah. and then rage and rage. attack. Sure. Holy oh, shit. Uh, that's disadvantage, right? So yep. my low one's 16. Yeah, that hits. <clears throat> uh, okay, that's going to be... Oh, well, actually, it's 18 with the D4, but you know. Uh, that's going to be 6 slashing and 6 radiant. Nice. Uh, Azari, at disadvantage, something's got your leg. Okay. Something's on your head. <laughs> uh, I, I don't... I You know... You kind of feel that the foot's out into the air, so you might mm-hmm. be able to kick, uh, or you can just try and lop whatever the fuck has your head. <laughs> I'm going to go for the thing on my head, because I feel like that might be a bit more important. Sure. At, at disadvantage. disadvantage? Okay. And you'll have a chance to get Dave tall or Ingve with a shit roll. Yes. <laughs> okay. <Hey>. Yes. <laughs> now let's see what happens here. 10, 11, uh, 17. Nice. You got it. Okay. Uh, five points of piercing damage on the thing nice. on my head. You whip your sword arm back. Uh, the blade goes right past Dave's face, who is just a raging Cajun right now. You feel it strike deep into flesh and then get free. You still feel the fangs in your head, uh, but there's no wiggle, uh, and somebody is dragging you by the foot. Uh, so, Ingve, uh, you kind of lose your footing, but you've got him. You're pulling him back. You saw the blade come through in the rave lights. Uh, you notice as he's bobbing up, there's just a serpent head severed uh wow along the water line oh, uh, and the water is just filled with blood now <laughs> oh jesus nice. okay so yeah Igme's clamoring towards zari and he's gonna try to pull the serpent head off <laughs> <laughs> is, he's got yeah. a free hand ready <laughs> or medicine check that shit <laughs> yeah i know stand by for more damage <laughs> all right Oh, man. And the loss of some memories and maybe some motor yeah. skills. <laughs> okay, what do I have to do? Medicine, Medicine check? check? Okay. Uh, 15 plus 6, 21. Uh, Azari puts his fingers in between the teeth and your scalp and uh, pops that thing off. Uh, the head kind of rolls into the sewage and it is starting to swirl around headed towards the debris field and uh, it's possible lair. Uh, Azari, you can almost feel your brain. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, everybody perception check. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. 22. Uh, five. Uh, 14. Everybody's focused on Azari. Azari, you're focused on the torchlight. Uh, you notice that it is starting to flicker and act in a questionable manner. Somebody may want to pick that thing up before it goes out. Uh, there's blood streaming down the side from the two fang holes in your head. Uh, <laughs> but you are alive. You guys are still kind of doing the ballerina bounce on the bottom of the pool. Uh, and you can head towards where you were or where you want to go at this point in time. Uh, Ingve's going to treat Azari for, for poison. I mean, we know what snakes are, obviously. So, Azari's especially kinda, Ingve. Azari's <laughs> kind of like pushing him off and goes, there is no poison. Constrictor. 
Uh, okay, Until sure. This, <laughs> there's no I poison. Feel about poison. <laughs> I didn't have any poison. Okay. I, I have longer than 11 minutes left. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Uh, Azari, since he's already in potato, the, he's, already, <laughs> potato. he's already in the uh, in the soup. He's gonna go ahead and float to the like bounce to the middle, yeah, and, and like rifle through the debris. rifle th- rifle through some of the debris. See if there's anything in there. I I wanted to, but as I he started, this thing was there. Well, now's your chance. <laughs> as he starts yeah. to move, Tall wants to say wait, and then he wants to gesture his hand out towards the wound on the side of of uh, Azari's head. And I'll do uh, 10 points from my lay on hands to heal some of the damage to his head. Sure. Oh, you're you're going to have a weird part. <laughs> <laughs> and damn it, I was saving that spell so- slot for lesser restoration. So- uh, are, are you going to warn them about the torch? Or just- uh, yes, I will point out the torch is uh, going to cause more issues if we don't get it off the ground, get it off the floor. I'm so going to go check is, his way. You guys go fix the torch. I'll be right back. Uh, Azari's headed to the middle. Who's going to the middle? Who's going to get the torch? King Fei will get the torch. I'm going with Azari wherever he goes. Tall? I was uh, planning to go get the torch too. So kind of Ingve and I both at the same time kind of lurch for and then just side by side walk. Ingve and Tall, go ahead and uh, give me dexterity checks. Oh boy. Uh, that will be a 14. 16. So yeah, you get to the area first. You reach up, grab the torch, hold it aloft. Uh, mm-hmm. Statue of Liberty, uh, you've saved the light. It will continue to burn. Uh, it will spark a little bit from the debris and stuff. Uh, Dave and Azari, straight up D20s. Oh, yeah, that's a great time for a natural 20. Uh, 13. Uh, Azari, uh, just a lot of crap in here. Uh, but Dave, you found uh, something unusual. It appears to be uh, fuzzy cloth similar to that of sheep. Uh, very nice wool. Uh, and it, it seems to be a, a long piece of fabric, uh, intricately cut. Uh, you're going to have to look at it on dry ground to see what it is. Uh, but you're pretty sure this is kind of cool. Is it golden? It is not golden. <laughs> you, you, you guys are gonna love what it is, though. <laughs> oh, is it my giant rattling sack. It's uh, you, you know what? Uh, you get it for a kid, and it's got like a bear head on it, and it's oh, just a blanket. Hell yes. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! <laughs> that, that's the funny slippers got. and that. Yeah, love it. You are the yep, king yep. of the sewers, and with that. <laughs> We will go ahead and call it a night. Uh, Kevin, what'd you think? Oh my gosh, so much fun. Uh, just <laughs> nonstop action tonight. Good stuff. The uh, the uh, the shit hit the fan. I love it. <laughs> love well, it. The shit hit is Zari. <laughs> oh, there's that too. Oh, there's yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, go ahead and pitch the uh, podcast again for me, please. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm the host of the Game Night Heroes podcast, and uh, yeah, it comes out on Tuesdays and uh, new season on the 22nd. Cool beans. Jesse, what'd you think? Uh, aside from getting the shit kicked out of you tonight. Yeah, I Literally. did get pretty <laughs> fucked up tonight. But no, it was good. I like the uh I thought that was funny that instead of it like piercing the thing, it went straight down the shaft and we uh caused our first building explosion together as a team. I'm so proud of us. Yeah. yeah. Hey, before we're through, we might burn down the whole city. Yeah. We took out Nakatomi Plaza. It was basically <laughs> what we did. <laughs> One I, building I, down, like 20 to go. That's it. I told myself a missile weapon at a nat 20 is going to cause damage. Uh, if they would have uh, used a weapon against it, I would have had you close the pipe, uh, uh-huh. causing a different explosion. So mm, I, yeah. I, I, I had hoped one of you would do that. Uh, David, what did you think? I I enjoyed it. Again, Ingve brings down the house. <laughs> so Yeah, keep using that fire. Yeah, yeah. Bring it. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking to see what spells I can pair, <clears throat> prepare, and it's just like, yeah, I don't have anything luminous. But I will ask this: Has Ingve ever uh, encountered luminous like moss or anything like that with the caves or fungus? Nope, because uh, you guys kept Ba clean. Okay, because I got druid craft, so I could produce that if I had to, if I had seen go. it before. Yep. Nice. And finally, Rob. I had a lot of fun squishing things and um, 
Building fall down. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Calamity Edition. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit, join us in our Discord. Uh, if you want to buy our cool crap uh, and or not so cool crap, the uh, link is down there. If you need some custom made dice, go on over to Twitter, uh, contact at Pirate Dog Dice, see if they got the time, the energy, or the will to go ahead and help you out. And of course, uh, if you want to know what this place smells like, go over to uh, Adventure Sense by oddfishgames.com. Grab yourself some putrid sewers or check our archives uh, and find the uh, video of Kyle choking to death, which is still hilarious. I mean, I really thought he was going <laughs> to die for a minute. It was it, it was hilarious. Uh, and don't forget, next weekend, Murder Hobo Con. Uh, hey, Frank, you got to pull that up and clip reel it at Murder Hobo Con. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah that's a put it in between it the loop. episodes. <laughs> I'll put it in the big seminar room <laughs> so that nice. it's on loop because uh, nice. it, it is funny. We really thought he was going to die, and that's <laughs> not funny, folks, but it was hilarious. Um, <laughs> it's join Kyle. us at Murder Hobo Con uh, next weekend. Tickets are still available. You buy a badge. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me you get into all the games free <clears throat> you just have to sign up for it along with the games we've got an arcade we got chess uh we got a photo booth we got a gypsy thing uh we got vendors uh we got door prizes uh if you go see the vendors and talk to them for a little bit uh, you get an extra ticket uh for these door prizes so you know some of that nice. stuff's really cool uh so we hope to see you there but folks uh we will see you on tuesday for between the rolls it's our socium project um uh, part two this one will feature natures uh thanks to all these guys for making the game night hilarious as usual and we will see you as soon as we can so a uh, big kiss and a wave Mwah. bye everybody